Hello friend, this is my YouTube channel, IG Pro. You can watch it for a strong way foundation of information technology and promises you to give you conceptual knowledge in computer. Keep watching for latest videos. Time to time I will come for with the latest video in computer. Thank you. You, I want you to talk about an important feature called master slide and also show you how you can add a sound as your background music. So under view, you see there is an option here called slide master. So the idea behind this is that you can go to a master slide of any one of these layouts. And what does this layout mean? On home, when I was creating the slides, I was using these layouts. So each and every one of these slides has a master slide associated with it. So if I wanted to make the changes, so say for example, I want to change the word summary and table because these are using the single column layout, movie, smart art, and even the chart all together, I can go to the master slide of that layout. In this case, I'm using double layout, the picture one, and also the clip art. I believe I'm using a double content so those won't be affected so I click on the summary slide and I go to view and I click on slide master so what it does is it will take me to the master slide of that slide right away so here I am I can go to the other master slides from here too so if I want I can highlight the title as I point to it I see this window and I can change that color to something else. So whatever I wanted, I'll just use something different. I can even highlight and I can change the font style so that we see a major difference. And I'll, once I'm done, and you can make any changes you want, you can make changes to the main bullet. And this will affect all the slides with main bullets or the sub bullets. So any changes you want, you can make it here. And I'll close this slide master view. Now we see the word summary, table, movie, smart art. They all have changed, but not the word clip art and the picture. To do that, I'll click on the word clip art, go to view, slide master. Now I can make changes to that if I want. I can highlight it keep pointing to it or you can go to the word home so from here I can change its font style to something different just to show the effects and just remember to close the master view or you can go back to view and then normal either way and I can close it and now you see the picture is red in color and also the clip art. So master view is a really good way to control the slides because when you have one or two or ten slides this is not a big deal but when you start to have hundreds of slides this is very handy. The next thing I want to talk about is how to insert a sound to your background. So I'm going to double click on this slide so I'll come back to normal view automatically or I can go to view normal and I'll go to the first slide and I'll go to insert audio in the previous version they used to call it sound so I'll click on audio and if you got it online audio if I've got it on my PC I'll choose that now I'll go to a sample sound so there is a sample here double click on it now the sound is being imported and there is the symbol for it now you get tools for that so the playback now what I want to do is I can control the volume I can also tell it that start on a click instead of that I can say automatically and I will tell it to play across all slides if you don't choose this every slide it will reset to zero seconds so it will just play for a few seconds and then reset and you can also loop it if you were looping your PowerPoint and also if your the sound was two minutes long and your PowerPoint was going to run for five minutes so the sound will keep on looping and I can hide it during the show so that when the PowerPoint runs 
this doesn't show up. Okay. And if I'm just going to delete this and go back to insert audio, audio on my PC, I'll double click on it again. And if you did not want to go through this, this is good to know because this is the way it's done in 2010. I can just play in background. And when I click it, you see all the settings automatically change to automatically, play across slides, loop, and also hide. So now let's see. If I start from beginning, I should start to see, and there you can hear the music playing as the sound is gone. I can hit escape to stop it. Now if you were going to email it to somebody and you wanted them to like see the PowerPoint right away, you can go to File, make sure you hit the Save button first, and then you go to File, Save As, and then you save this file to your computer somewhere. The only thing to remember, you save this as a PowerPoint show. So you are looking for an option that says PowerPoint Show. So when they get this file and they double click on it or they open it, it will start the show rather than it opening in PowerPoint. So that's the difference between a regular PowerPoint file and a PowerPoint Show. So you can always do that. And if you were going to email it to somebody or give it to somebody, when you go to File, you'll see an option called Compress Media. Because if you remember in this PowerPoint now, I have an audio file and also I have a video. So if I want it, I can compress it to like internet quality or low quality so that it's easy to email. Because right now the file size is 34.7 megabytes. So that's a lot. Most email attachments don't allow to go beyond 10 megabytes. So if you wanted, you could reduce the size of it. Can hit back. And a new feature that Microsoft has added to 2013 is when you go to File and you choose Share, you can share it to present it online. So you don't need any setup. And a link is created that you can give to people and they can watch it and you can present the PowerPoint online. You can also allow them to download it. All you have to do is choose this option to enable remote viewer to download and you just hit present online and it will start to create a option and a link and then you just click connect. So that's the really good, it's a public service, it's free. So it's a really neat feature so people can access it from anywhere in the world. All they need is an internet connection. And one last thing I want to add in this tutorial video is that if you had a bunch of pictures that you wanted to create like a photo album PowerPoint, you can do that right away. So if I go to insert photo album, choose new. Now I'll say insert picture from file. I'll click on the first picture. So go to where the pictures are and say I'll click on hold the shift key and then click on the last one and I'll click insert and here are all the pictures that have been added if I want I can remove something if I don't want it how do you want your picture layout you want it to be fit to one slide you want two pictures on a slide you can choose to be like that now you hit create and it will open a new PowerPoint. So this is a brand new PowerPoint slide. I'll just go to View, Slide Sorter, and there it is. It's put two pictures per slide, so I've got it ready. And it's the, it's the different file itself. You'll have to save it if you wanted to keep it. If I hit X, it will ask me to save it. I'm just going to say no. So that's a very nice feature. And I'll briefly mention here, I'm going to do a separate video for it, that under Insert, new slide you can insert a slide from outline so in Microsoft Word if you had a outline of a PowerPoint with bullets you could actually open that file and it will create a PowerPoint for you which I'll do it separately thank you thanks for watching my videos and if you like this video please Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.
you.